New at 10, emergency responders in Rock County are learning how to rescue people, but it's not from burning buildings or car wrecks. They're actually practicing their life-saving skills using grain bins. NBC 15's Madeline Anderson explains. At tonight's mock rescue, nine different fire departments practice life-saving skills in the event someone gets trapped in one of these giant grain bins. But they did it in a more controlled, safe environment, down below in the back of this semi-truck. The problem you have when somebody is trapped in grain is the weight of the grain doesn't allow them to just step out of uh, the material that they're in. We have to physically dig them out. And if we don't build this tube around them, the weight just keeps on coming up against them and we'll never get them out. So the tube is something that we actually place around them, push down into the grain, and then dig the grain out of the center of the tube, and then we're able to lift them right out of the silo. The training comes after a Janesville man died from being trapped in a grain bin like this one earlier in the year. It's very important that we train everyone in the area, even just the first responders in what they should and shouldn't be doing, what their capabilities and limitations are, and then for us to train the special uh, rescue people in the techniques that they need to go in the hazard zone to make that rescue. Many of the people here are part of the state line technical rescue team. A group of emergency responders from the surrounding area that train monthly on a number of different topics. Grain bin rescue is one that hasn't gotten much attention, but Captain Fisher says the need has always been there. The awareness was the issue. There were a lot of departments that tried to do the rescue themselves, even though they might not have had the specialized equipment and trained people. So today, you're starting to see a lot more of these teams being formed around the country to handle some of the specialized stuff. Now, even though tonight's training is very specialized, much of what the firefighters learned tonight can be applied to other aspects of the job. Reporting in Clinton, Madeline Anderson, NBC 15.